Welcome, esteemed viewers, to a world where oil reigns supreme and the battle for control is as slippery as the commodity itself. The United States, a key player, is experiencing a surge in oil production, with projections pointing towards record highs by 2024. This boom is largely fueled by the strategic investments of industry giants ExxonMobil and Chevron in the Permian Basin. But what are the rest of the world? Over in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia is feeling the pressure to regain control over crude prices. Some analysts speculate that the kingdom might resort to flooding the market with supply, repeating the playbook of 2014. However, the Rapidan Energy Group takes a different view, believing that OPEC Plus will not take this approach, and instead, the supply-demand fundamentals will support prices. As oil production in the U.S. surges, it's clear that the energy landscape is shifting. But what does this mean for the global oil market? The world of oil doesn't exist in a vacuum. Global events and geopolitical tensions have a direct impact on this vital industry. Now, let's delve into the intricate dance between geopolitics and oil. Our story begins in the United States, where oil production has hit record highs even amidst escalating geopolitical tensions. The conflicts between Russia and Ukraine, Israel and Hamas, and the strained relations between the US and China have all contributed to a volatile global landscape. Yet the US oil industry has persevered, reaching production rates of over 13 million barrels a day, a feat unseen in recent history. But what of the impact of these tensions on oil prices? Well, it's been a roller coaster ride. As Saudi Arabia and Russia have reduced supplies, the price of Brent crude has shot up by around 24% since June. Despite increased production, the number of active oil rigs in the U.S. remains significantly lower than the peak in 2014, an indication of the industry's remarkable efficiency. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, Russia's oil exports are nearing their highest level in four months. This, despite promises to cut production in tandem with Saudi Arabia. Russia has only managed to slash a third of its promised 300,000 barrel a day production cut, which has resulted in a dip in the price of Brent crude. These increased oil exports have undoubtedly boosted Russia's revenue. However, economists caution that the strain on the Russian economy due to sanctions and severed trade ties could outweigh these short-term gains. So there you have it. The world of oil is not just about drills, barrels, and pipelines. It's a complex ecosystem where global politics and economic strategies play crucial roles. With geopolitical tensions escalating, the oil industry is caught in the crossfire. But how will this affect the economy? Oil is more than just a commodity. It's an economic powerhouse with far-reaching impacts. As oil production increases, the United States is moving towards becoming a net exporter of crude oil. This shift is more than just a title change. It carries significant economic benefits. Imagine the country not just as a consumer, but also a supplier to the world. It can help balance trade deficits, create jobs, and stimulate the economy. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. With increased oil production comes the risk of recession and stagflation. Stagflation is a term used to describe an economy experiencing stagnant growth and high inflation. This happens when the supply of goods is outpaced by demand causing prices to rise. If oil production increases too quickly, it could flood the market, driving down prices and leading to job losses in the industry. Now let's take a quick detour to Russia. Their oil exports are climbing, but it's not without challenges. Sanctions and broken trade ties are putting a strain on their economy. Despite promises to cut production, Russia's exports are nearing their highest level in four months. This increase in revenue is a temporary relief, but it's like putting a Band-Aid on a broken leg. The undercurrent of economic strain is still there, threatening to pull them under. So we see that the economic benefits of increased oil production are a double-edged sword. On one side, we have potential economic growth, job creation, and global influence. On the other, we risk recession, stagflation, and geopolitical tensions. The economic implications of rising oil production are vast and varied, but what does this mean for the future? In a world increasingly conscious of its environmental footprint, Renewable diesel is emerging as a viable alternative to traditional fuels. This new player on the energy field is projected to outshine biodiesel in consumption by American trucking firms and airlines in 2022. This significant shift marks a milestone for the fuel sector. But every silver lining has a cloud, and the rise of renewable diesel is no exception. It's increasing production, expected to reach 5.1 billion gallons per year by 2024, is sending ripples through the soybean oil markets. Why, you ask? Soy oil is a major feedstock for renewable diesel. This impact on the soybean oil markets could potentially trigger global food inflation as higher edible oil costs ripple through the food chain. 
The threads connecting renewable diesel demand and food markets are weaving a complex and increasingly interconnected global tapestry. As the demand for renewable diesel grows, it's clear that the energy industry is evolving. But will the world be ready for this change?